Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Wonder Egg Priorities. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So fucking ready to take my hair out. Is this just a recap? Okay. I'm still gonna watch it though, because something tells me that there's something else. I'm still untrustworthy about that. And something tells me we're gonna find that out soonish. The happy friendship one. I don't know about that. I wonder why they're showing us again. Basically, yeah. Ah, oh, yes, talking toilet paper. See, you know, I'm going to say this real quick because I kind of, this is what I was kind of expecting in episode one for, oh, okay. Yeah, so then in a way, this is kind of a recap episode. Oh, my precious baby. I was expecting, like, for I or any one of the girls to fail and that one of the girls who, you know, committed suicide eventually would have died again. Maybe that might happen in the second half. Who knows? Yeah, but we just trying to figure out if Kyoto had a freaking sick relationship with her damn teacher. For a little while. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I want to know what kind of special treatment, damn it. So fucked up. But something still tells me that by the time we get to the point where all four of these girls do eventually wake up, the one person who that is important in their lives, something's just going to tell me something bad's going to happen and it's just going to be like, holy shit, like everything that you did was for nothing. But I, I don't know. I just, that weird feeling I have. And I've had it ever since like episode two. Which is awesome, by the way. I mean, damn. Mm, yeah. I mean, in a way that, like, Nidu, mm, personality-wise, still gives me Homare vibes, but not too, too into it, because she's, they're, they're, the, they're similar, but then at the same time, they're completely different. That's still fucked up.
It's just baby second official friend. Like, ah. That means they're gonna show that moment for Rika and get in and like cry all over again. Yes, hella greedy, but you know what? That's okay. I still like her. At first, I did not like her. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to hate this child so much. But a couple of episodes later, I honestly liked her a lot. Mm-hmm. Because your mom slept around with so many men. Yeah. I mean, one thing that they could have done is just the blood. Using blood types, having like everyone from wherever she lived, like a 15, 20, um, 30 mile radius from her and could have done like that but I don't think it would have been like that it would have been like a little too easy And then after that, she never did come back.
Oh, the chain. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> They're pets. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> oh, he's still so fucking cute. If they don't sell merch of them, I swear to God. And finally, Momo. Mm hmm Because she has very masculine, feminine features, and she's very pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like the freaking, um, she's hotter kind of the group. <laughs> Of course, just like anyone else. Rika. Mm -hmm. and she must have okay that makes sense that had to be the day when she was gonna go Yes. <laughs> and you know, Kyoto, is she's going to say something about that shit. Come on now. I mean, look, like, he is fine. Like, oh my God, he is fine. But something about him, anytime when I look at him, I have weird feelings. That he's not, there, there's something else that we don't know about this fucker. He had to have a sexual relationship with her. Because no fucking teacher 
embraces their student like that. Come on now, let, let's be a little smart. Okay, so going into a recap episode, I really enjoyed it for what it was. I mean, it's just a nice little refresher because as someone who binged, what, the first three episodes and then everything else, like, very quickly, even though it was bi-weekly after, and of course, since I'm watching so many different freaking animes, um, <laughs> there's so much shit in my head <laughs> and everything, but it was good. Just, I, I, we need to know about Momo's uncle, because that's the biggest fucking thing we all want to know right now. Oh, we go. The story no one knows. That could really be anything. But I think the reason why they had this recap episode is because something next week in episode 9 leading into, uh, let, you know, how many episodes does this show have? I think probably like 13, 12 to 13. Um, something's coming. I don't know what, <laughs> but um, it, it's probably not good. I, hell, I could be lying to myself. It could be bad, you know. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be something. But because we only have, okay, 12. Hold up, y'all fucking serious? Because we're on nine. They only got four weeks left of the show, right? Technically not even, yeah, not even counting next week since when we get to next week, it'll be three. They only got a certain, how the, hold up, no, 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 no. No, no. How the fuck are y'all gonna end with four weeks left? I don't know. See, oh my god, because this was me. This was me with Akudama wondering how the fuck they're gonna end this shit. Nice and a neat little bow. Even though, you know, us as the Akudama Drive fans, we were all like, yeah, we still love this and we got an answer question. So hopefully we get that answered soon. Like, mm. it's gonna be like that with this show because I feel like. There's no way in hell, like, the only thing that I think they can uh, ultimately get answered in four episodes is the relationship of Momo's um, uncle and I's friend. That's it. I don't know what else you can put in for episode nine and expect to be, you know, wrapped up by episode 12. I don't know. I mean, because, like, I think I, th you know, this show isn't, like, typical shows that are on television right now where it's, like, here's in season one, we're going to ask all these questions, and then by the time we complete the damn series, not season one, but the goddamn series, any questions that you had from season one to season whatever, when we get to the final, final season, and you're like, okay, let's ask a question, let's answer some questions from, like, season one, season two, season three, season four, season 25 and then it's like no they, they like the creators of that literally will say fuck that like no it's not really that important but I don't know we, we have to see but with the four weeks that we have left yeah 9, 10, 11, 12 yeah four weeks that we have left with this show I don't know I, I don't I don't fucking know but I feel like once I wakes up her friend as I've said once before that's when her her friend's going to possibly tell her everything because of course a teacher ain't going to come out and say every little thing because if he or she does what's the big thing that's on their line the job if they say anything about whatever relationship they've done with a student that's it they're done they have to get fired <laughs> not even get they will be fired and the next thing you know it, that's what they're going to be known for for the rest of their life no matter where they go um hell you could probably even change your name if you want to but still people are going to find a way to know about your past and shit and then next thing you know you're not going to have a life anymore you're going to be known as that person who possibly had a relationship with a freaking student and such and I, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I get the fact that his mama was like, I don't want to accept it. Like, there's no way that my uncle would do something like this. But, like, okay, Momo, I love you. I do. You were, like, Momo's probably, as of right now, my, my current fave. Um, because she's just so sweet and adorable. And she, the fact is, this is a, a child or a character who is, mm, well, we're not really, we're, we're, like, a teeny tiny bit similar. That's only because we're tall, we're both tall as fuck. And there have been times where I was, when I was younger, like, people thought I looked like a guy even though I wasn't and such but she's really sweet and I kind of just feel bad for her between I think all four I feel bad for the most no matter what but like to me I feel like Momo Rika's was like the saddest story and everything but all four is sad but with Momo Momo is trying to deny 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 like so fucking much that her uncle someone who is her family um could do something like this it's almost like with any other situation of a family tragedy when you find out like some big big family secrets and you you sit here and you be like hold the fuck up like no there's no way in hell that my such and such could do that like oh my god or when you are at a friend's house and your friend tell you a big big family secret and you be like oh shit like damn this is some good ass tea like let me write this it's down but some people use that as blackmail it, it whatever floats your boat and shit like that but i don't know i mean i like even in this recap she's still denying it last week still kind of denying it but something tells me that once um what's her face does end up waking up and she says something. I think that's when Momo is really going to be like truly like, okay, I believe you. I don't know. I have no fucking clue because <laughs> it, it it's family at the end of the day. When it's family, you, you want to deny so much. But sometimes you have to see the truth through someone else's eyes in order to understand like the full potential of, of that person, you know? I don't know, but like... <laughs> Whatever the fuck is about to happen in these last four weeks, I, I'm I'm super scared. I kind of like the fact that they made episode eight into a recap episode, but then at the same time, I'm not because I'm like, I want story-driven-ish. I'm ready to see what the hell is going to happen next, but it, it's okay. I still enjoyed it for what it was. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episode eight of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.